Woo 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 in the new jail. Do you know who I am? Thriller City. You might need a theme song for your shit. Check this out. Turn it out loud. Let the shit seep in. JackThriller.com. We creep in. Snoop Dogg to the left. Jack Thriller to the right. JackThriller.com. Do it all night. Hit the website. Hit us up real quick. If you're trying to get hooked up with a bad super bitch. I feel better about my life. I feel better about my life. Man, this is going to be a great show, guys. Man, let me introduce my co-host today. And when I got YBT, I got uh, a little playboy. Oh, no. <laughs> the man formerly known as Little Playboy. He's Playboy now. Because he Thanks. big Playboy. He grown. Yes, sir. He grown. Big I got Playboy. Eric Kadesh's queen of comedy. Oh, yes. Oh, and I got Gigi Maguire. Show me the money. Yes, Yo, yes ma'am. Out. But I got an East Side legend in here today, man. Anybody know, whenever I get a chance, I always want to take it back to the East and, and, you know, let everybody know, man, Decatur is in the building. I got Galaxy Wick from Ghetto Mafia over here. Come on, let's hey. get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. What, what an intro. What an intro. Hey, man, you, y'all impressed. done seen him on the Beehive show. Yeah. Man, you done seen him on legendary shit. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, he stayed, he, uh, he, uh, you, what you did, the big boy car? You you ripped it off and see you starting stuff already. Then when I come out, we talked about this before the show. What you what did we say? Hey, man, no, you told me a bunch of shit. We talked you about this. Bunch of shit, we had say, an we, agreement. We, say all that shit. we had an no, agreement. Uh, that nigga, you ain't never did it with me. Yes, what a camera. <laughs> you ain't never did it. You, you, yeah, talk, you talked to all them other people about what, that shit. I knew this was set up. To all them other people about that shit. You but, know how I feel about Big Boy. Me and Big Boy like this right here, so I don't even know what you're talking about. Bruh. Don't, Every don't. time I go to your show, and over there with you and Beehive, y'all always <laughs> got them uh, bickering you know, about by outcasts and yes, whatnot, sir. and who the, why they, they ain't the greatest and whatnot. And no, you know now, I've never said that outcasts oh, were not the greatest. See, you you remixing what I say. Okay, put come you on, remixing now, give, my words. Give me the right beat. Give me the right what, beat. What I have said give me the original is that track. what I what I have said is that if you're gonna say Andre 3000 is the greatest of all time, you have to say Big Boy also because Andre has never done anything without Big Boy. It's not, Big Boy has done it without him, but he hasn't done it. He quit before he dropped his, he, the only uh, solo album he had is the Flute album. Now they did do the double CD, but it still was an outcast album. And they still featured on each other's songs. You know, I had, I, I, I want to take everything that I said back. Cause I, I, you, you wasn't shitting on them niggas. Now that I, now that I just processed it all and whatnot. Absolutely. I, tell, I, okay. You tell me one time okay. that you have heard, first of all, Big Boy slip I'm, I'm on I'm a bitch verse. ass nigga, man. I'm sorry. No, no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not <laughs> you Jack. You're my guy. We, we, this I mean you kick it. You know what I'm saying? 100%. So, my, but my thing is, I do want to clear it up with Outkast because um, I just did a song with Swift. Uh, okay. For this Atlanta classic, whatever it is, song I did. I did a verse to it with all of them on it. <laughs> uh, for 50 years of hip hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, we talked about this same Thing. Yeah, we and, all the same. And as I and as I say, I just my, my thing is if you're gonna say that Andre is the greatest, no, then you have to say Big is also because uh-huh. what has Andre done without Big to warrant that I'm the greatest? No, no, no. I I, I, I never uh, said that Andre is the greatest rapper in the world. I, but uh, I think I do think that Outkast, just by record sales, is the greatest group, the greatest. And, and and I have no problem with you. And then and then here's the thing too, Jack. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Um. Oh, that's that's just a matter of opinion because really there is yeah, yeah, no number, it's no it's no really no number one when it comes to rap because numbers y'all don't make lie. up we make numbers well no no, no 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 let me tell you yeah, numbers, numbers do lie numbers, numbers, numbers do, do lie I, Vanilla Ice lie. sold ten million records numbers Ice Ice Baby that. was that don't the great was that one of the greatest don't records do. of all time I is like anybody in here riding around. You know, beating that Will Smith summer summertime. The, there are records that have True. sold just much, but we don't. We, we but when you group. say the we greatest, group. even when we say the greatest, we're gonna group. say the Tupacs. We're gonna say we're gonna say group. Uh, group. nobody ever says Vanilla Rap Ice group. is the greatest. But if you say if we're going on sales, then you have to song. put him. You have to put. You still have to put him in the greatest talk. Yes. If the greatest talk nah. is about sales, nah. Nah. I agree. Did, no, right Vanilla Ice is right. That's a valid point. Absolutely. I agree. So, I agree. so my my thing is, Outkast is all time great. Uh, Outcast can, if they were number one, if somebody said they were number one, I would have no argument with it. Okay. But there are 50 artists that I could say were number one. Great. NWA groups. was the greatest groups of all time to me. You know what I'm saying? They changed the culture of rap. Right. They, they did, ushered who in won? the street stuff. Uh, uh, NWA. Oh. I would say uh, they, Run they DMC. Let's talk about Run DMC. Run DMC was the first group that ever had a merchandising deal. That's true. That's so true. anything that's that y'all are selling when you rapping, 
or or anything with uh, entertainment, you have to thank Run DMC. Now, now everybody got a shoe. Everybody got shirts. Everybody, got, you have to thank Run DMC. That's game changing stuff. So when you say the greatest of all time, there's a lot of different rappers that can fit that bill. That's all. No, no, no. And Outkast is definitely one of them. Take I agree that with that. Most definitely. I just think it's an Atlanta thing. We always gonna root for us. Absolutely, yeah. Atlanta, we all gonna be like, okay, better than everybody, and you put, put them against anybody. So that's just Atlanta, period. Yeah, but there was a lot of great movements. We're talking about, you know, No Limit. You know, about it, about yeah. it. We're talking about, we're talking about some of the greatest yeah, movements. So. Cash Money, Millionaire. Let me tell you something. Cash Money was the first uh, label or, or entity out here that brought, really brought bling bling into the game. Before that, mm -hmm. you had the gangster rap. You know, you had NWA, you had the Chuck Taylors, you had Snoops, you had, you know, you had Down South Texas, Scarface and all that. Everything was gangster. They first came out talking about the cars, the blame. Awesome. Flexing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And to this yeah. day, that's what the Maybe blueprint is season. to rappers yeah. right now. That's so you want to talk about a movement or an impact in rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I can tell you different groups where they had impacts that affect today. Um, if we talk about a female, Lil' Kim impact on females today. What do more people rap like, uh, females rap like now? Lil' Kim or Queen Latifah? What did, when you see rappers now, what, what? You and I, who team, has to, who you calling a bitch? Ain't nobody rapping like that. Ain't nobody rapping like that. Ain't nobody rapping like that. But, 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 like but you that. see the persona, <laughs> they, they, you know what I'm saying? You better call me a bitch. Hey, call me a bitch. Why you ain't calling me a bitch? That's what they saying, call me a bitch. rappers are still taking the picture just like Lil' Kim in the heels. You know, that's a legendary picture. That's impact. I like that picture. You understand what I'm saying? So, there's a lot of people that could be in that, in that greatest of all time. You know, I was told Lauren Hill. In there, you know, I, yeah. they're, they're, I they're, love Lauren Hill. Absolute Buster Rhymes. Who can do what Buster Rhymes do? Mm -hmm. Who can do what Twister does? That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let's say Bone Thug and the Harmony. The first one brought the harmony into the singing. Yeah. To, now yeah. we all That's doing right. that now. So there's so gonna many different layers. When you just say one person is the greatest of all time, I think that's unfair to a whole culture. No, no, 100%, man. And we got to add Ghetto Mafia in there. Absolutely. Hey, got yeah. to be in there. Got I got flip-flaps on, so you know I should be in there just on that. Yeah. Just on that. <laughs> real Southern <laughs> Hip Hop. Huh? Say Real Southern Hip Hop. Hip -hop. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, Absolutely. Yeah, flip-flops. Respect. But I'm, I'm definitely an Outkast fan, man. And shout out to Big and Dre. And, and matter of fact, you know, I did you hear my flute album? I got one for you. Hold on. Uh-oh. Let me warm it up. Here you go. Let me yeah, you go. Here you go, nigga. They don't know. This nigga. <laughs> he got the hand flute. Oh, yeah, I got the hand flute. He gonna play the real flute. I'm gonna play the hand flute. Can we? Dre, get at me, man. I ain't even gonna do it. I did it on my podcast. But you know my skills. You know what I'm saying? Get at your boy. Oh, shit. Hey, but, hey I, I said this on your show. You, you got to be. Hey, he sold albums too, man. He sold albums on that flute album too. Mm. No, he did. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's that's Most that was a to testament. So, 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 because uh, it's gonna be uh, like, um, it's gonna I mean, be worth some money. Uh, so, so they say. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now you got me right there. No, but you, know, you, you can't never tell what the fuck going on when I hear no more. It's all smoke and mirrors, Jack. All you know that. Smoke and mirrors. You know that. Hey, I hate to tell y'all this, but yeah. Santa Claus ain't real sometimes and whatnot when Absolutely. it comes to these record sales, these spins and. What do, what do they call it? That, uh, stream. 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 Yeah, stream. It's weird now. Hey. It's but weird. Jack, Good talk to me. who didn't play the flute album, though? Like, who didn't give it a try? And just see I what it I gave it a try. I gave saying. it a try. I did, too. <laughs> everybody <laughs> listened everybody to it. Yeah, I mean, it's so the numbers are there. Did it sell because everybody gave it a try, or did it sell because everybody listened? Because I mean, it was everybody great. keep listening to it. They they bought it because it's Andre. They thought they probably going to get it. We like him. It, it, if three million really people was... listened to it just because one time... It still technically, you know, just did three yeah, million. Yeah, it did. Exactly. And did. Exactly. Yeah. But, but if it was, it was a good album and three million people listened to it, it might have did 15 million. Yeah. Right. Hold on, hold on. Tell me I cut. Hold on. That's the truth. Three million. Yes. I'm just using that oh, as an example. You got to go not real slow. No, I'm about to say, hold on. I'm just using that as an example. Yeah. I don't know the exact number that he did. <laughs> I know he outdid Lil Wayne, though. He did. And Wayne, my favorite rapper. He on did. the flute? Yeah, yeah on the flute album. They dropped the same week. He was yeah. number one. Because he beat they had, Wayne, he beat, who else he beat? But it was a good album a to um, listen to, like, to soak in the tub and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> I soaked. No, this, seriously. We take showers. Seriously. I was soaking <laughs> in the tub. They can take showers with they flip flaps on. She, she, she from the West Side. I was soaking in the tub. We already let take our drawers off in the shower. I'll be there. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, you run in and run out. And all seriousness. Now, yoga people, go get it. Yep. I played it's it more than good, once because it's good meditation music. Exactly. It's good, bring exactly. you down when you when you hype up. I mean, they got that on the calm app too. For, 
Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Good, you can download the good meditation. Album. I meditate right too. I think it was a gimmick yeah. album, man. Everybody ran to it I, because I it was it. Andre 3000 playing the flute, and they just wanted to hear if it was really true or not. That's just like if somebody drop a crazy sex tape, it's going to, for instance, like with the Drake leak or whoever, it's going to get so many views, people going to see just to see, was that really Drake? Is that really Andre playing the flute? They, yeah. It just was. But how do we know he's really the playing the flute on Well, that. also, he was spotted. Thing, right? He was spotted well, he all over the, the world the with Japan. that flute. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it was, I mean, he wasn't just, he wasn't, you know, just a world beater where he had crowds, you know, standing around him listening to the flute. Here's the no. thing. I kind of, I want to pick it back off what you said. Here's the problem that I did have with it. Uh, I have no problem with the flute album. I'm, a, you know, uh, the Kenny G's of the world, jazz, good, you know, saying mm, cold good drink. music. The the, the thing that I said Kenny on G. my podcast, the problem I had with with the flute album is I just didn't think it was very good, and so people jumped on me about that. Either the either I like the album, or I don't. Does it is it is it a quality jazz album, a rock album, country album? Fuck no. Have you heard uh, John Flawless Williams? Listen to him, his flute album. I'll send you. Matter of fact, I'm gonna send you uh, a real link to one of our own here from Atlanta who plays the flute for real. So when you out here kind of shucking and jiving around and you know what I'm saying with these smoking mirrors and playing like you playing something for real, you'll hear the difference. I'll put the I'll put it on there for you can send you the link so you can hear the difference. He's in my video, Break the Bank with CeeLo Green. If y'all haven't yeah. seen it yet, go check out CeeLo and Wick, Break the Bank. I got a new deal with Virgin. We're finna get ready and drop this See, record. You, you and want, I have You on your Cat Williams shit today. Absolutely. No, I'm not. <laughs> yes, you, you is. No, you pushing me there. You keep talking about Andre because <laughs> I, I knew you were gonna get me. I knew the trick was here, but 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 <laughs> I'm not gonna let you take me there. I I'm telling the truth about this. These are things that I've always said on my podcast. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I just told you that Dre is a great artist. They, they could know. be number yeah, one. Yeah, but sure. if I don't like the record, I don't like the record. I mean, how am I the bad guy? There's some uh, some of my greatest artists that I love. I, I didn't like the record. Nigga, I don't like the record. You know what I'm saying? I got partners around me now. If I drop 15 songs, we were just talking about yep, this. Yeah, sure right? Everybody's yeah. scared to say, nigga, I don't like that shit. Yeah, got to keep it real. You know, I don't mean yeah. I, don't, I don't fuck with you. I don't love you. Nigga, I don't like the shit. Right, right, right. You know the, okay. Okay. That's all you you got to keep it real. Yeah. You gotta keep and it's nothing wrong with that at all. This for all of y'all. Oh, this for all of y'all. So y'all mean to tell me, and y'all all got friends that that's in the in the music business. Y'all keep it real with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't it, we just talked about this. Yeah, yeah. Me and we just talked about it. I, I, I do. Yeah, you on camera now? Oh, let's I talk do. about it. You on camera now? <laughs> so the thing I know you talked about. The thing about it is the thing about it is Jack. As an artist, you have to be one hundred percent real with your artist friends because. You have to understand that artist is a reflect art is a reflection of what is really going on. It's literally a snapshot in time. So if you allow your friend, somebody you call your homeboy, your brother, whatever, to put something out that you know doesn't necessarily align with what they do or what they agree with or what represents you, and you tied to this person, it's not a good look for you or them. So it's best it's in your best interest just to keep it real, be honest with each other. I could, that's a the boy. You I, you got to come with me on my podcast. I'm, gonna, <laughs> I'm bringing him me on my podcast. You know that's. That's just the real it is. Hey, you know what time it is, y'all. Hey, it's Foodie Call, hosted by Moneybag Mafia. Let's go. Moneybag Mafia in the building, and we got, what's your name, brother? Chef Jeremy Weatherly. Chef Jeremy Weatherly. You heard that? <laughs> it's two, it's two types of niggas fucking up the dating game right now. Rich niggas and big niggas, man. Because when they, if niggas see a bitch or two, nigga know that you feed that whole food. Ain't, ain't, ain't got to say nothing. Ain't got to say nothing. You keep a whole fed, that <laughs> man. What we got going on today, man? Let so, me know who you is. So, man, what I brought in today was some macaroni and cheese. Okay. Homemade. Oh, that shit look like how my mom used to cook. Yeah, man. Yeah. Your mama taught you how to cook? That's who? Nah, I had to fend for myself, man. What? Your, your mama was a good cook back then? She was then? a good cook. Okay. But, you know, I had to, I had to learn out here in the culinary school, out here in these streets, hotels. You culinary art school? Yeah, I went and spent a little money. Which one? Which school would you went to? It's uh, Sullivan University. Sullivan University. Man, I'll clap it up for this black man in here. Yeah, y'all. man. Look. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So, I bought you some salmon, you know, some fresh green beans, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah don't get me together, man. God yeah, damn. Yeah, this, how many cheeses in there? It's three cheeses. It's three cheeses? Three cheeses. Three cheeses. Mm. It's the cheese. What, what kind of cheese? Is that a, a secret? So we got a mozzarella. Okay. We got Parmesan, and then we got a little cheddar in here. You married, man? Uh, not no more. Well, you can't please these motherfucking hoes. <laughs> 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 that nigga cook got his own bitty guy. Yeah. <laughs> you 
You got you, you got you a uh, location out here in Atlanta? Uh, no, nah, I'm a private chef, so they just call me. I pull up to the house and on spot. We get we get it busy and we get ready. Okay, let me check this out. It look like my mama Mac, man. Let me give me that. Hold up. My bag, it look good. Yeah, that motherfucker look good. Bag. It look good, bro. I'm a light skinned nigga. I blow my food. Hey, it's gonna change your life. Boy, the boy Mac on <laughs> The boy Mac. On point. Is he macking? Is he macking? Mac is macking. Come on. Don't miss. Is he macking me? What kind of cheese is that? Like that? Uh, what, what, what kind of cheese is this? So it's Parmesan, mozzarella, and cheddar. Mm. That's it. You will take a nigga home, but I got to keep you away from my bitch because I don't see the <laughs> shit. <but> <laughs> Let me try the salmon. We're going for the salmon right quick. Hold up. This salmon, right? Oh, salmon. man. Okay, yes, sir. Oh, man. Is it a big little piece? Big little piece. Babe, what's going on, man? What they Still doing? Still smacking. Boy, that motherfucker good. I ain't good. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't yeah. Hold yeah. Hey, appreciate that. I be having a hard time cooking salmon, man. Well, how long you let you cook? My shit still be About bang. seven to eight minutes. What you season it with, bro? Salt, pepper, garlic, and a little chili powder. That's it. Okay. That's it. Doing what's your go-to dish? Like, if you had a chick over, you like, yeah, I'm going to do something nice for you. Like, what you, what's your dish that you just know going to sweep up off her of feet? Like, you just know this. This motherfucker going to get her. Salmon. The macaroni. Salmon. Macaroni. Okay. Where you from? I'm originally from Thomasville, Georgia, but I don't know. Thomasville. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this that's south. That's south, man. About Florida. Yeah. That's why that nigga cooking like that, man. Yeah. That what it is. Hey, you got my motherfucking vote. Food it called food good. Let them vote know who he is again. I'm gonna eat this motherfucker while you tell them that. Chef Jeremy Weatherly, owner of 827, Instagram at 827. Or if you want to follow my personal page, J Weatherly01. All the food every day, just be dropping content, everything. Cooking for my boy Jack. You know how we do. Oh yeah. That's my dog. Hey, food it call. Let's go. Uh Jack, we we brought sure. You understand what I'm saying? 100%. Uh, you know, we did a crappy ass movie together. And it was terrible. I don't even know about it. Was, it was terrible. It was terrible. And you and and you had no problem coming on my podcast and saying that shit was whack. It, it was. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey nigga, nigga tried to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> nigga tried to kill me because <laughs> I had not then quit in the middle of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went up, you went up to the fifth. And then, hey, nigga, nigga, hey, dog. I, 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 I was so, so so pissed off with the movie, I moved. <laughs> yeah. I, I right. moved to New York. Right, right. Right in the middle of the movie. Right, and, and I, I told him that. You and know nigga that. called me too. He said, hey, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Come up there to New York and goddamn beat your ass about this motherfucker. You the star of the motherfucker. I said, nigga, yeah. make another nigga the star. Yeah, yeah. I'm with, Nigga, I'm with 50 now. Nigga, he, you he, about to kill me and him. He told me, there you go. Like, <laughs> the truth. You left me in the middle of all that shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga like, where your boy? I was like, man, this shit. I, I, I don't motherfucking know, nigga. Hey, hey, dog, nigga, <laughs> nigga, nigga, act like he was paying me. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga, was, hey, dog, I, 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 was, I was like, well, I think I was on like day 15 right. of a free movie. Right. Yeah. And, and by 17 different locations, yeah. all kind of yeah, shit. Yeah. And, and women, you got to start yeah. telling your baby daddies too. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. If his now. shit ain't, ain't hidden. That ain't hidden. Yeah. Like, nigga, go on and get them yeah. CDLs, nigga. Like, right. <laughs> go on and let right. them know. We're playing with folks yes, out here, yeah, man. Got, Trying got, to start tricking. I, I can't even be fake. Like, I had a, a friend who do music, and some of the songs, I was like, that ain't it. <laughs> right. And they'll think you a hater. Right. Nah. I'm not being a hater. I'm just trying to tell you don't put that bullshit out. Right. Especially right. if you with me. You right. know what I'm saying? You did the right thing. Yes. Yeah, so. Erica, anybody that's serious about their craft is actually going to appreciate the fact that you're being honest and yeah. upfront with them. If they're not serious, if it's just a hobby or if they're just treating it like a hobby. I hear y'all talking. Yeah, they just want to be. I hear y'all talking. Yeah, I, so you know, ain't nobody never told you that I was a... I came to your show and, and heckled you, so you know I know. Yes, you did, uh, bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch-ass nigga. And I, and I was doing yeah, my thing. You were so clean that night, like, too, like a big old powder donut up there, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, that nigga, that boy, clean the motherfucker. But, 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 let's, 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 let's be real. Hey, let's, hey, oh, no, I got on that stage. Hey, did you, did you notice that everybody on the stage dead? Yeah, no, oh. I want to ask you though: Have yeah. you have, have have a comedian ever <laughs> told you straight up, bro? That that joke that that one niche, you got to get your shit together, bro. I've been booed by Whitney Houston. So now, wow. but so let me ask you: How did you receive that? Did you receive that the person was hating? <laughs> like he just said, I, I was honored. In wow. Atlanta, yeah. One wow. thing about Atlanta: the comedy, the comedy world. We gonna tell you if you you ain't. Oh yeah. <laughs> you gotta have tough skin. I'm for real. Oh, yeah. You're coming in Atlanta. You better have tough skin, cause they gonna tell you, boy, you ain't shit, boy. Exactly. Yes. Just imagine you gonna be practicing. They be like, you ain't shit, boy. You gotta, you boy. This shit ain't no joke. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm so strong the way I am, cause I be around 
you know, men. Gotta be. And they don't care who you are, boy, girl, bitch, you ain't shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go sell some pussy. You know what I'm saying? They're yeah. gonna tell you. <laughs> hey, you know what time it is? It's Jack Thriller's Beauty of the Week, hosted by Gigi McGuire. Show me the honeys! Who's coming with me? It's me, your girl Gigi McGuire, aka Miss Show Me the Money, and it's Jack's Beauty of the Week. What's your name, honey? I'm Michaela. Michaela, hey girl, hey. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. How you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Oh, we ready. oh, she ready. <laughs> She's ready. Seems like she ready. <laughs> okay. So, I could have sworn she was ready. She's ready. I could have sworn she was ready. Could have sworn <laughs> she was ready. Come on. So, how old are you? I'm 25. 25. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. And what's your sign? Scorpio. Oh. Scorpio. Freak oh. illegally. Big Scorpio. Big Scorpio freak energy oh. is what they say. Oh. Is That's what they say. Um, have you ever dealt with a Scorpio? I have. You have? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. I met a Scorpio. Yeah. The head was good. Damn. I don't really remember much else. Wasn't no limit to where she go. <laughs> okay. So, um, what's your hometown? Where are you from? So I was born and raised in Boston, mm -hmm. and then I lived in New York for a little bit. Nice. And now I'm here. Now we're here. A. Okay. Here we yeah. All right. Let's get it. City girl. Time to turn it up a little bit. A little spicy. Get a little spicy. Mm -hmm. So what's your sexual interest? Are we straight? Gay, I'm straight. Mm -hmm. Bi? A little curious, maybe? Just straight forever? I would say straight for now. Okay. Yeah. For now? For now? <laughs> oh, it's subject to yeah. change. Okay. <laughs> what would you say that your favorite sexual activity might be? I would say this might like cons be considered like position slash activity, but I like when there is like a mirror mm -hmm. in front of me and I can see everything yes. and I can see myself. And okay. Yeah. We arching and pointing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so maybe I should do it this way. We arching and pointing. <laughs> it it, it sounds like it's giving selfie stick while you're doing this. Ooh. You you doing this for the gram. You you fucking for the gram. We catching yeah. them angles. We catching them angles. Yeah, hey, the angles. you got to know your angles. Angles and lighting angles, is important. Lighting and orgasms. Got gotcha. <laughs> orgasm. All three. Um, how often do you or will you fake an orgasm? I've only done it once in my life, and it was with my first boyfriend mm. ever, so a long time ago. But I don't do it anymore. I don't think that we should be doing that. Mm -hmm. Just my personal opinion. I don't mm. want to boost your ego if you're not oh, wow. performing oh, damn. the right way. So okay. You going to let me down? And in the event that this orgasm does not happen, what do you do? Um, What's your next move? I move on to the next one. Well, can, we can't get a do-over? No do-over? No, no round You two. can get a do-over. Depends yeah. on how much you like you, Maybe you get another chance, but after that, mm, no. Okay. What do I have to say to get another chance? What what what's what what's it's what you have to do. Oh. To get uh, another oh, oh, okay. I need to make <laughs> make a grand gesture. Yeah. Acts of service. That's my love language. Oh, so. oh. Service. What does that mean, okay. Gigi? Put me on. What is she talking about right now? So love languages are the things that your partner can do that will feed your love interest and in, okay. in what it is that you like and what okay. you on and what keeps you going. So acts of service, mine, well, let's not talk about me right now. So acts of service for her would be the things that he do. Is he gift giving? Is, like effort. Is he putting yeah. forth the right foot, the good foot and doing Get, bad Getting it like a flash mob. <laughs> flash mob? Yeah, flash mob. Everybody dancing and everything. Hey, give me some pussy again. <laughs> After the dance is over. Yeah, that's a that's that's considered a grand gesture for sure. I think okay. that might be a little bit too much though. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Maybe just All right. a little bit. All right. So let's end on a high note. Where can the people find you, Michaela? You can find me on the gram, Michaela Shapiro. Shapiro? Yes. That's your real name? Yes. Okay. <laughs> you Italian? No, I'm Jewish. Oh. My dad is Jewish. Y'all got that bread? <laughs> Is your father a lawyer by chance? No, no I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you. Can I ask I you something though before you move on? Let me ask you <laughs> something. I want to. I want to pivot to this. Uh, with, with comedy, uh, we talk a lot about Tip. How uh, he's converted from rap to comedy. Mm -hmm. uh, and when he came on my podcast, I asked him. I said, I said, uh, Tip, do you get a lot of hate? from real comedians or, or struggling comedians that have been in this game 15, 20 years, and then all of a sudden you come in and they know your shit ain't as good as their shit, but you RTI 
So you come with a machine behind you, and you come in making more money there. Um, my question to you would be, that whole entire thing with a, with a, with a, a comedian, like what Tip is doing, because it's, it's groundbreaking, how do you view that whole situation? Do you look at it as like, he ain't really funny, but you know, it's because he T.I. that he's, you know, the people are backing it, or or do you think he's really funny and he can do it? T.I. is hilarious. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I don't know if you know Wicked, but I'm part of Ha Ha Mafia. That's yeah, he did. Oh, okay. That's the yeah, group, that's the group that Tip so, yeah, yeah, they came she up to the show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, she opened the um, road with Tip. Yeah, yeah and your boy was in the um in, in the movie with us. Yes, I'm in the movie too. Okay. I'm the candy lady. Okay. I'm, oh. the, I'm, the, I'm the first lady. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm the first lady of High okay. High Mafia. But the good thing with Tip is he got us mm -hmm. and we be on that nigga ass. <laughs> that he can deal with. He he in a group with a bunch of comedians that right. been doing it longer than him. Right. So he get it from us first mm -hmm. before the world. You know what I'm saying? Give it to him. So he already be prepared for it, I guess. Right. But he has gradually, you know, and I can I can I can say that he took it seriously. Okay. Not because his name of who he is. Right. He really out there in the trenches. Absolutely. He be practicing. Cause we'll tell him, like, boy, you, you know, you talk too much. No, I'll be like, don't embarrass me like that, bro. Like, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Right. So he get it. So he so He said, he said when I asked him that, he said, to go back to the question I asked, do do comedians have comedians came at him and look at him sideways? They do. Yes, they do. And, I mean, he had. They won't do it to his face. He had a uh, rough. He said. He said. He said that you know he he hears the whispers. Yeah, the hating that they, whispers. We, we like, tell him. We we go back and tell him what they say to hey, a boy. They so, so you know what I'm saying. He knows Bitch what nigga said. they mad because they feel as though he, they taking his they taking they spot or something like that. Yeah. But like Tip say, if. You've been doing this all your life. Yeah. And if I just came in, you ain't been shit before I got here. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And I ain't taking no money you off said nothing. that, Corey. You, yeah. you, you said that <laughs> That's exactly. That's, That's real. <laughs> That's real. So, so, so That's real. you mad. You just trying to find a reason why you not successful. Come on now. That's real. That's how uh, people, that's what people sit around Don't blame do. it on me. I can't blame exactly. him for him. I, nigga, I... I congratulate him because number one, he got four back looking at coming. Do it again. Correct. Do it again. For Correct. real. And they don't look at that part of it. They you not looking at they, they he got people looking back, not just for me, for other people that not in our group. He got people looking at comedy again. Right. And right. they be and they be ready to see what kind of comedy he bring to the stage because it's it's a different type of level of comedy now. You got the internet people and mm -hmm. you got the old school people who, you know what I'm saying, that really like stand up comedians. Correct. From what from my from my era, we right. stand up comedians, mm -hmm. so it's a difference. So he coming and he being like a stand up comedian, not just on the social media thing. That was kind of I, I applaud him because that's that's nigga. You don't, he don't even have to do this shit. Exactly. Yeah, he, done, he done, but he's breaking he's breaking barriers. Do you? But do you have the balls when his stuff is not right and say? That's some bullshit. Jeff. Yeah, we tell him. No, no. She a girl. I, I, yeah. She can I, definitely say anything. We, <laughs> he, he ain't going to whoop her ass. We, <laughs> right. I, no, we tell him because, again, he is a reflection of us. Absolutely. Exactly. What well, we all just exactly. said. Yeah, he is a reflection of us. I, well, like I don't want him circle. to go up there on stage and he'll, he'll be like, man, E, how was it, man? I know what I need to do. And we'll tell him. Right. Or, or him and K-Dub go back and forth. You know, they be joning mm -hmm. and roasting. And, yeah. And he get it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You either can... Deal with it or not. Tip, I mean, tip got the toughest. And they, and they don't, they don't give oh, him yeah. no slack because he tilt. They be oh. on that nigga ass. Yeah. Boy. yeah. Well, y'all got a, y'all got a winner with you, and that's one of my uh, favorite rappers. That's another person that uh, I could definitely mm -hmm. be on uh, the Mount Rushmore rappers is Ti. One hundred percent. Shout out Tip and respect. Yeah, respect to Tip. Westside. He's definitely breaking down barriers, man. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is. Hey, so you got this new, this, you, you you got, you, you Galaxy Wick now. you like, put, yeah. put, put me on this, this out of this world, Jetson. Yeah, thing you, you on seeing right all now. that shit. And see, uh, Star uh, Trek, Deep Space and Nine. I, yeah, yeah, and I'm trying not to, you know, I don't want to give away too much because every, we got so many ear hustlers and just uh, non creative people that'll take that and just run with it. Okay. Uh, this, this was my thing. <laughs> this was, uh, trust me, it's been done to me a lot. A lot of, the, a lot of your favorite rappers are taking a lot of my uh, tell but let me tell it. you, um, <laughs> I didn't want to be a rapper to where a lot of rappers that I know from my era, they have one or two problems. One problem they'll have uh, is either they're stuck in the sound that they used to do in 1996. So once you hear a record from them now, it sounds exactly like something that they would have did back then. Mm. 
or they're trying to be too young and and compete with the young niggas that's that. out now. I hate it. So now they out in the lane, and I, and I tell them, I say, look, if you're a 50 year old player, man, you got you know you got kids in school, you got bills to pay, and that that's still street gangster rap. You can. Relay that message and young niggas will fuck with it quicker than if you down there in skinny jeans trying to talk about you yeah. sipping lean and doing yeah, that yeah, type of shit. Do do. And so niggas, they don't comprehend that That's part true. of You have to grow with the music. Yeah. I'm not out on the corner selling dimes no more. So I don't rap about that shit, but I can still sit here and say, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I got one in school, 20,000, I got to pay. You know, that type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Bills, you know, like, let you be off any day. This is the type of stuff that I'm talking about right now. I'm going to give it from a perspective if, if I got an 18, 19 year old kid hey let me tell you how it's going on from my side of the game what I'm thinking about nigga why you out here at the club and you doing this and that I'm thinking about you know when you come home you're gonna have some water on your ass you understand what I'm saying the lights are gonna come on and I have to get out here in the streets to do different type of shit whether it's working whether it's laying breaks whether, whatever to, to provide for you and that's a part of the game too it's two different sides to the game and so we get stuck up and letting an 18 19 year old give us the game no let me give you some game yeah. And they'll respect that. They'll respect that and they'll receive it. Come on now. You just I, said it. I, I just caught the water that's, on my ass. That's, that's I just gospel. Caught it. I just caught the water on this, my ass. Because I'm when in the midst of I see it. You have water on your ass. <laughs> yeah. No, so, so, that. so, so that's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to, um, my music be a reflection of my age. Mm. Um, I'd rather, instead of be, like I said, out here trying to compete with young boys and, and looking young, and now they're like, man, look at Wick, man. He old. He an old nigga trying to be young. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I'd rather be doing some player shit. I mean, if you see my new video, you know what I'm saying? We in that bitch clean. You sound amazing. Low. Yeah, absolutely. And we, and we looking good. And I and, and we looking like our, like our dads were, you know, used to look. So I look young to them. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? So I'm right in the middle. Not mm -hmm. only that, keep, keep yeah. in mind, yeah. uh, my boy Killer Mike just made, he just tore that whole thing down. Sweet. With that, that uh, you know, it's a young man's game. Right. Yeah, no, at it's, age 47. It's, come on, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Come on. Absolutely. Killer Mike. Oh, Killer man, Mike. He, that, that, was, that was huge. And that wasn't just, that wasn't just huge for the city. Uh, I spoke about that. Uh, it was huge for hip hop. Uh, period. Because um, Jack, the kids need to, we need to understand what the kids are talking about. I listen to kids. I listen to the rap. Yeah, most older guys don't listen to what I do. I want to know what the new lingos they saying. So if I'm somewhere in a motherfucker, yeah, hey, you got a stick. I ain't sitting up thinking motherfucking <laughs> crazy as hell because a stick used to be a nigga really got a stick. And then you got yeah, a stick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, mean, I get what's going on, but at the same time, yeah. the kids want to listen to us too. Hey, bro, but, I almost got shot over that stick shit. You did? Bullshit around. Nigga, I brought a bigger stick, and then this nigga had a gun. I ain't <laughs> oh, know what the fuck. Shit. I didn't know he was talking about a gun the whole time. <laughs> right, right, because you're not, you're not listening to, a, to the kids. I'm fight with a stick. Because yeah. you're not listening to your kids. Yeah. yeah. Hey, man, you got stick, you got <laughs> stick and move, <laughs> stick and move. Yeah, yes, that's, sir. A, that's a plus for me, for having children early. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, I'm yeah. so glad because they keep me. They keep man. right. Absolutely. Uh, but you know what? If they listen to you, if your kids, um, if if and Buster Rhyme said this right there, so I'm gonna steal it from him. He said that if if you're you're a guy my age mm -hmm. and you know everything that the kids know, mm -hmm. he said you're smarter than the people my age because I know what everybody my age knows and I know what the kids know. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. makes me that, that. that but it's the same world. way the reverse. But, but I kind of don't want to know what the kids know. Like you don't want to know. Confusing. You're not trying to you go to the know. party. Yeah, you yeah. You're not know. trying to, but, but you, you need to understand. Yeah, right. You gotta know, because you, you gotta, gotta be, be able tuned. to relate to them and talk yeah. to them. That's okay. how I do with my kids. No, 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 I, I got, them, hey, talk to me regular. Don't no, tell me. I got, that is you wanna wipe That is regular. Tell me why you gonna wipe my nose. No, 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 no. I did a video and it had went viral a long a while back with my son. He would listen to um, Thug song, Hercule. Mm. Hercule, and I interrupt, like, get your ass in that and clean the motherfucking bitch <laughs> before I beat your ass, nigga. <laughs> and it went viral because you, I'm listening, but you gotta be able to learn how to talk to them on their level. Yeah, you really do. My little girl, don't you know I love this? I love this little girl. Me and my little girl, we might watch church on Sundays, right? Mm. And for some reason, my pastor is, is on the youth. He talking about the youth. And, Youth this and mm. this and this and that. But it's like stuff we don't heard before, like the traditional stuff about kids and blah, 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 blah. So my, my daughter was like, mama, he don't know half. Kids don't think like that no more. These kids are really like, really want to kill themselves and stuff like that. Wow. So right. it's another way, it's another way that we got to approach these kids nowadays because, because the parents are different. 
Why they so depressed though? They got everything. No, it, 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 that might be it. That might be it because they ain't have to work for nothing. Like we, we made we we kind of did that. We made it easier for our children. Well, from what we went through, so we made yeah, it easier for them. Made it, and then, and then technology on top of that, it's like, damn, you, you gotta. You don't gotta think for yourself. You know what I'm saying? You don't gotta count nothing. You That's don't why gotta you, go nothing. You can Google the, everything. I tell people all the time. Navigation. Pull your kids yeah. to the side, man. Put them <laughs> phones down. Have a conversation with your children yeah. at home. You know what I'm saying? And let them know, like, this ain't, you can, hey, you gotta hustle. You gotta do this. You gotta do that. Do this and do this and do this and do that. You know, you gotta talk to them. Take that stuff away from it because it's making them lazy. Mm. It's making them dumb. Yeah. I had um I had went through my son. Well, I ain't go through his phone, but I was getting charges first, right? Random charges to my credit card. Like, who the hell charging me uh <laughs> like thirteen dollars a month for this app, right? So I called the people that said it was my son. I went to the small said, man, show me this app that's thirteen dollars. He pulled it up, right? Tell me why it's a, a mathematical app. That solves his math problems for him. He talking about he wow. using the Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't even gotta do. Wow. They don't even gotta yeah. do their homework that's, no that's more. Wow. Wow. They got the test and everything. And I didn't even know he had this YouTube. app going for like damn three, four months. I'm getting charged because I be I look at every little. Yeah, straight A's. I see this shit. I'm like, man, who, who what the hell? I'm spending fourteen dollars a month every on on, on the, in the iTunes store yeah. or the Apple store for the app to do his man, math problems do. for him. You to do, do his homework. For he him. better came it's home with all A's, A's though. Tell, hey man, tell his ass, yeah. send me some of that money back. <laughs> <laughs> I sent his ass right. some money for them A's too. <laughs> <laughs> I need some money they back. All, they got S, do it, the SAT. They got everything on YouTube. Listen, you mm. can. Oh, I seen that whole you can SAT. Find you seen on the it? And you the can, SAT on YouTube? Yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, you yeah. need yours the old fashioned one. Nah, I got a GED. <laughs> <laughs> is GED on YouTube? Yeah. <laughs> I'm it's sure it is. Sure. I'm pretty sure it is. Called YouTube University for a reason. <laughs> for a reason. We both, wow. both hey. got a GED. Uh, you got a GED too? Yeah, I got one. Too. You got yours in jail? Uh, I, I, well, I got it somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> I, got, I, got I can dig it. I can Listen, dig at it. least you got one because I don't even have one of those. Right. I don't yeah, got a you GED. Need, I don't it. got a high school diploma, but I'm probably smarter than most people I know. You made Pop it. Girl. it. Yes, you, yes. Pop it. Yes. Right. That Gigi, you made it. You Thank made you. it. <laughs> that part, for sure. But, Bob, before uh, I get out of here, man, I want to remind everybody again, uh, go check out my Break the Bank video. Uh, it's on YouTube on Beehive, uh, Plat Beehive ATL. It's growing dumb. I'm dropping the single April the 19th through New Age slash Virgin. And uh, so we gearing up for, uh, you know what I'm saying, a, a big, powerful summer. And I'm going to need you in this new video that I got called I Zombie Lane. Okay. Uh, on my Instagram, The Real Ghetto Mafia, I okay. dropped a clip of it today, a motion graphic today. And you ain't I need playing. You, I need you in this video. It's going to be something right up your lane. You're going to love it. Okay. Uh, and one more uh, shout out I got to give is to uh, Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, listen, listen, and listen, I listen. About Before you go on. New record. Listen, I'm a player, bro. You can't have me doing no goof ass well, shit. Well, now, since you wanted to go there, <laughs> yeah. did you, did you want to know your what you were going to be doing? If, if you don't mind. Now, okay, I, what did I just tell you the name of the record was? Zombie Land. Zombie, zombie Land. Yeah, I was going to be. So what do you think I want you, you to play? Uh, you want me to be a nigga that's hitting a zombie in the head? Because that's what you got to do. You got to hit him in the head in order to kill him, right? Like, like Negan quite. with the baseball bat. Not quite. So you, you want know. me to pretend like I'm fucking dead? Right? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you saying I look have like you a ever, zombie? Have you ever seen the movie Zombie Land? I seen Walking Dead. No, I Walking Dead. Yeah, yeah I, Walking I, Dead. I'm a big time Walking Dead fan. Right, you're gonna be the leader of the zombies. And bro, I don't. <laughs> I don't want to see myself <laughs> in uh, post so mortem. King Zombie. I'm gonna king look. Zombie. Hey, if, you, if, you feel, <laughs> if, was, if you feel any better about it, you're gonna die in the in the in the video. So nobody really see you more than one minute. Bro, that doesn't feel better. <laughs> it's a whole movie. What if, what if the you black had a Michael Jackson first. Uh, zombie outfit on? I'm just, hey, yeah, I'm just, I'm just That'd be dope. You got to be real about it. That's some player shit. I want to be that, one of the niggas in the world. Ain't trying to hear that bullshit. Hey, do it again. Ain't nobody trying to hear that bullshit. GG, you down to be a zombie? Hey. Uh, I'll be a zombie. Yeah, see, I like Gigi. See, Gigi down, you know what I'm saying, down for the team. Oh, she brandy. Oh, she want to be down. Hey, you, hey, now, if, the, if, if I show everybody that movie that me and you did, I bet you wouldn't mind being a zombie there. Oh, here you there. go. He, you want me to show? <laughs> he brought it uh, back up. I did, automatically if, think of the Thriller video. How you don't want to be a part of that? Right. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Right. That yeah, Thriller? Video. Right. I thought it would be kind of I know. Man, you a, man, you know what? I want to be Ain't the werewolf. Ain't trying to hear that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to, werewolves are still living. <laughs> and, shit. and before we get out of here, 
give Ricky his flowers, man. The, yeah. the great contributions you want to say for the give city of Atlanta. That. Come on. That's why, you know let's, what? Let's get you uh -huh, some flowers. Mafia, man. My, you know what? I'm <laughs> here, man. We for here. Real. k Dub, what's happening, man? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Your boy, give, man. K give him his flowers yeah. on that. Yeah. I'm going to give him From the west side to the east side. 100%, dog. Yes. Super legend. You know, like I said, I, one yeah. of my favorite songs, and I make them play. I make them play uh, uh, Ghetto, Ghetto Mafia every every time we in. He ain't lying. Am I, am I lying? He ain't lying. No, you he actually called it. me on the phone and woke me up one day and made me rap the song on oh, the yeah. air. Don't you do you remember that? Yes, yes, I do. So I you, I know that you're telling the truth. Yes, <laughs> but I, but I I'm a big it. fan. Absolutely, big yes. time. You yes. know how much I love you, man. Sure, I know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but can, can I need a, I need an untold story because I ain't never heard you tell this story. Uh, it, it, nowhere but on the phone with me and Gabe. Okay. Uh, you was talking about the the story with uh, uh, Lil John. Okay, what about what about? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ricky got to be ready. Oh, you got like, a bunch. What? You got a bunch of them. What, what particular story? You was telling me about uh he 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 was coming in and telling you about where the game was fixing to go. Oh, and you were absolutely. Just talking about that earlier. Okay, yeah. So that was I can't quite remember the year, but we was at the atrium, and we were it was us Jay Z, and Somebody else, um, but yeah. So we, so we, we, we backstage. Whoever going before us, I don't know if it was Tila, Eight Ball, or somebody. Uh -huh. And we were, we were going second. We was out at the time with uh, Bob Johnson. You know, we signed who on BET. Mm. You were signing so, Bob Johnson? Yeah, him and Ernie Singleton. Remember they had Get fully loaded the records. Yeah. yeah so this before, Johnson. this before they sold BET. So, um, so <laughs> we had, had a, we had a, label. a, yeah, we had a bit. It was called Fully Loaded. Okay. But we had a, we had a, uh, a huge movement. Um, on the uh, promotions going on at the particular time. Yeah. So no way to make a long story short, you know, I'm feeling myself, man. I feel great. You know what I'm saying? I'm on top of the world. Uh, one of the first groups that's on BT and MTV, probably the first rap group that w had a major video out. I don't know. Our, us and Outkast was close. I think it was, they might have beat us out by a few months. Uh, they dropped in December with Players Ball on that Christmas album. It later came out mm. on the album. Mm. But it was on the Christmas and they might have beat us out by a month or two. But, mm. I would say first or second nationally on BET. Mm. And um, and so, you know, so I'm feeling myself. So John comes in, you know what I'm saying? We're back, it's, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's packed like a motherfucker. Uh, and we don't rock that motherfucker. And he was like, uh, yeah, he said, uh, yeah, man, that's all that's all good, Wick. But he say, uh, you know, it's this new uh, music finna come in. It says crunk music. Cause you know, back, you gotta realize I'm coming off an era of the 90s to where it was the gangster era, so everything is samples. You're yeah. gonna hear a lot of played uh, records. So if you go back to all the old Ghetto Boy records, and all the old, even all those Snoop Dogg stuff, the G thing and stuff, all that, all that yeah. funk live, G funk. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So we coming off that era. So when he says it's, it's this new music coming in, that's gonna be it's crunk music, man, and it, you know, no samples, no none of that. And everybody gonna be jumping. It's like rock and roll music, like you know, for white folks, you know, where they, you know, cause they was already white folks already doing slam music and you know, jumping off the walls and stages and shit. He said it's gonna be, it's gonna have that effect to it. And instead of niggas throwing up gang signs in the clubs and shit, and I was like, man, get the fuck out of here, John, man, and, uh, you crazy as hell. And lo and behold. I was sitting on the sideline for years later. <laughs> he was, you know, because I was stubborn. You know, because I guess because John told me that, it made me, you know, you know, be a little, a little bit more rebellious. defiant. You know what I'm saying? And, and did you would you say you were saying you you felt that way because he was uh, he was his uh, uh, employee at the radio station at the time, or and, and well, or, he he a pro, yeah. promo guy. Uh is you would you say that that probably went into it like you was kind of he wasn't little John that we he know wasn't little John yet right. yeah so by him saying that did that did carry you know that yeah. did play yeah. a part in it he wasn't little John at this right what does he know what the fuck does he know Got exactly it. and and those things have have um you know have made me you know be sharper and and have and and ask little wisdom to be able to understand I say this all the time to people. We got two ears, two eyes, two noses. Smell the bullshit, see the bullshit, and hear the bullshit, and one mouth. But a lot of us like to use two or three mouths. And that's what I used to be when I was young. So had I been listening to him, mm. seeing what he was saying, telling the game, then out then, maybe, you know what I'm saying, I would have I would have rolled on through. But I don't want to end on that story right there. Do you want a story? I'm going to give you a real story. 
Okay, hold on. Hold a real on. one. Uh-oh. And we're going to end it on this story here. Let me tell right myself here. in. Story this time. This is a true story. So how many of y'all in here know Too Short? You ever show? Sure. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Okay, we all know Too Short. So Too Short used to have a house. Uh, I hope Gilbert Forrest off of Cascade. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. So I really when you would go, when you would go to uh, Short's house, you would go around the back, and you know you come in. Short has a pool table down there. You got the studio, everything down in the back of his house. This was like one of the first rappers. I was like, damn, this nigga rich as fuck. You know what I'm saying? This, <laughs> and uh, so I come over. We're we're we we had just dropped an album. We were with Itchy Bone with MC Breed, R.I.P. Eric MC Breed, who started mm. us. R.I.P. And so uh, he's the one actually sent us over to Short House. And uh, so we so we go in, and Short is upstairs. It take this motherfucker an hour to come downstairs. You know, and I want to meet Short. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm a fan. So so we sitting there waiting. There's three or four of my partners with me, me, Nino, though, a few of us. So he got this pool table here. So we start shooting pool. We shooting pool, and we waiting for Short to come down. Just don't help ourselves. We drinking. We busting blunts. We cooling. <laughs> Finally, Short Dog comes down. And I'm like, wow, this is, this is Short. Now, the part I left out is was, I thought I was a pretty good pool shooter. I have been in all the clubs on the east side. I, I win a little money at pool. I'm not bad, I'm, a, I'm above average, right? Above I'm, average? I'm above average. That's pretty good. Okay. Yes, so Short comes down. So Short, uh, he talking, blah, blah, blah. He see us shooting, so now that I reflect on the whole situation, he was hustling me time he walked in, uh, but I didn't see it then, of course. So he comes in and he's like, man, y'all shooting the pool, huh? I, hell yeah, nigga. I one behind my back. Uh, nigga, what you see? You see me shoot, nigga. You know I shoot. So he was like, he was like, shit, okay. So we shot. He said, shit, rack him up. So we shot again. He said, you know, shit, I'm real nigga. And I don't shoot no pool, you know, without no money. Mm. You know what oh, I'm he, saying? He's he just like trying to see where it's finna go. Ego, but, but, ego, but, ego. but there's a twist to it. Okay. So, you know what I'm saying? So he throws down, you know, we... we Shooting for twenty, thirty dollars. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And I whooped, I whooped short ass, but it wasn't no nigga ain't hustling me because he, he he can shoot a little bit like me. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? But I'm 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 I'm, I'm in the end I'm prevailing. Uh huh. So then he said, "Well, shit, you know I normally only shoot for like you know y'all niggas getting me up in here, but we can you know we can shoot two fifty a ball." I said, "A ball?" I said, "I ain't got that kind of money, man. We just started rapping a little bit." He said, "Well, two fifty a game." I was a thousand, you know, three stacks. You know what I'm saying? Under three stacks, and we talked about him. That was me. <laughs> so I can lose mm-hmm. 250, but, you know, it's going to hurt it's if I hurt. did. Yeah, don't feel good. <laughs> so. I'm prevailing. I said, man, fuck that nigga, man. Let's go, man. Write them motherfuckers up. I don't know. Hit them for $60 or something like that. Right when I said that, man, Short comes out with this stick. He screwed that <laughs> He bitch opens the, he screwed it together. But look, no, look, no, look, no, Jack. It had a bitch on the stick. <laughs> and once he, once he, once he tightened it, he had a little button in it, and the, and, and the stick said, "Bitch, at me." <laughs> what? You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm joking. I swear to God, I'm not joking. I believe you, nigga. The stick said, "Bitch, we got yeah, it." Nah. <laughs> and I didn't get another shot. And here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Of course, you know it's me, being a, being a young, dumb, black, knuckleheaded. I had to lose damn near 750 to to get it that. This nigga don't fucking hustle me. And the bitch on the stick. That's my story. I love it. Y'all give it up for Gangsta Wick, man. Gangsta Wick up in this motherfucker, man. Hey, bro, this ain't, this is the first time, but it's not going to be the last time you come here. I mean, I really appreciate you coming to New Jack Thriller City and whatnot. Did y'all enjoy Wick? Respect. Respect. Hey, man, we're going to see you next time. Hey, let's take some pictures. Hey, come on now. Take us out of here. Get on my field. Bout to go thrill, Jack Thriller, on these niggas. Bout to go thrill, Jack Thriller, on these niggas. <laughs>